Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking to innovation startups of the future, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. Greatly appreciate it. So, being a consultant, being an employee, Sometimes it's really, really difficult, right? It's really, really hard because there's so many horrible things happening around you. There's so many things that need to be fixed. Sometimes you can just drown in the bad. You can say to yourself, oh my God, this is awful. This is awful. I hate doing this because I keep banging my head against a wall. It is really frustrating. It's really frustrating working on within these organizations that are where there's bad processes, maybe there's bad organizations, maybe there's bad people. Maybe there's there's all this negativity that you have to work your way through within these organizations. Sometimes when you're working with clients, they're terrible. Sometimes your clients are terrible. terrible. Sometimes your clients' processes are terrible. Sometimes you have some good clients and you have some bad clients. Sometimes you have clients that are 80% terrible people. There's a tendency for us to, when we see this kind of negativity, when we're surrounded with this kind of negativity, to feel negative ourselves. It's really easy for us to take that negativity and just suck it in like a sponge and go, ah, this is awful. I'm just gonna complain, bitch and complain about this all the time. It's terrible. I, I work in a terrible situation with terrible people doing terrible things, blah, blah, blah. But you don't need to look at it that way. Because if you think about it, if you're a consultant, you're an employee, what you're doing is you're hired to fix these problems. If there were, if these problems weren't there, if these weren't there, then they wouldn't need you anymore. They would let you go. One of your key things to do, and it might not be your job. It might not be your job, but even if it's not your job, you should make it part of your job to try and repair all the bad stuff that's going on in your organize in the organization that you're working with. Don't look at as something negative. Look at it as a challenge for you to solve, a problem you need to fix. If you ask me, if you're a consultant, if you're an innovator, if you're a creative person, you enjoy solving problems. And this is yet another problem that you need to solve. This is another problem you can take a look at it and go, how can I help figure this out? Even if it's not your role, even if it's not your specific role, helping to looking at it as a challenge might make you feel better about it. It's not something horrible to be complained about. It is how can I use my brain power to help solve this issue, to help turn things around, turn it into a challenge, not a problem, and see how well you can do. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.